Good morning. How are you? I'm making this video today because this is my second day of not having to go to work. I am now retired. Yay! After 35 years of working with my organization, I have decided to stop. I got a lot of questions when I was getting ready to retire. A lot of questions. What are you going to do when you retire? I didn't have a particular plan. My main goal was not to go to work anymore. But I guess some people have big plans of what they want to do. For other hobbies and everything they want to pursue or businesses or whatever. Um, I didn't think I needed a plan after 35 years of working in an organization. I had the right to stop and I did. I could have stayed. They wanted me to stay. But I wanted to see what this next journey of my life would entail. I feel for seniors though when it comes to retirement because <laughs> there's a lot of information you have to understand and go through. And if you're not retiring at an age where your mental capacity is on point, it's just a lot. It's overwhelming. Um, there are workshops you can go to, but it's still a lot. And even once you enter the process, the paperwork you receive is a lot. So I feel like now I'm almost, now that I've gone through that window, I still get information in the mail that I have to carefully look through because it's um, time sensitive. <laughs> as far as decisions I still need to make or things I need to sign up for, but I'm in pretty good shape. Um, so I feel good about that. My main goal for making th this video today is, today is my birthday! Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, this will be my first birthday as a retired woman. Yes, I am a woman. I, I am a little bit um, androgynous looking. Little kids mistake me, but anyway. <coughs> Um, TMI. But anyway, um, I, I feel good. I wanted to retire when I was feeling good. <laughs> and not come out on disability retirement or something like that. YouTube, I've watched for quite a few years now. I, I enjoy watching YouTube. Watching YouTube is one of my hobbies, if you could say. And uh, if you hear something, that's my dog in the background. But I, I've seen the changes in YouTube. When I first started watching YouTube, it was primarily people that made videos for the love of it. And they were fun and entertaining, enjoyable. Then I saw how the videos became more professional looking, polished bells and whistles. And that was enjoyable too. But then it seemed like it became a must. I don't know if it was a must for them to get views or subscribers, but Little by little, some of the smaller YouTubers, some of the people I used to watch, don't 
post anymore. They don't have anything on anymore. Most of the people I started watching, I don't see them anymore. I first started watching YouTube when I was online searching for lock tips. I had just locked my hair and I wanted to see what other people were experiencing. And I didn't really find anything out there until I came upon YouTube and um, that's when I found Bronze Goddess. And she was doing a lot of styles and she was showing you what she washed her hair with. Because that was my main thing. What are people washing their hair with? Because I was getting a lot of residue, a lot of dull look from the things I was washing my hair with. And so I still watch her to this day. And um, that helped me a lot. And then once I started watching her, <laughs> I found other YouTubers talking about their lock journey. So that's kind of how I first got hooked onto YouTube. Most of the videos that I watch now on YouTube are not lock videos, um, but that's how I got started. I ended up watching a lot of family channels. But anyway, I, I say all that to say I see the changes and now I see that um, a lot of beginning YouTubers, um, if they want to form a partnership with YouTube, it's a, a, lot, it's a lot more difficult. And even the YouTubers that um, were posting don't post anymore. So um, I think it's getting back to, well, I kind of hope it's getting back to people that want to post for the sake of fun, for the sake of sharing information as a hobby, for the love of it, not for the perfection, not for the money. And I think that will make the videos more enjoyable. It's not the pressure to have a video out by a certain time and just putting anything out to satisfy a timeline or you know, or a sponsor. I think I just want to call all YouTubers back <laughs> that we're just doing it for the, for the love of it or for fun. And if you make some kind of gain off of it, fine. Um, nothing is nothing against the people that have actually made. YouTube a job. I think that's phenomenal for the ones that have been able to do that and got in through that window to do that. That is phenomenal. I just, I'm in awe at, at these youngsters actually that are just making it and, and I, that's fine. That is great. I still watch a lot of them to this day. Hold on. <laughs> 